For those of you joining us now, we are uh, here live inside the International Space Station flight control room. The uh, hooks are now driving to uh, release the uh, Progress 56 cargo craft that has uh, been docked at the International Space Station since uh, back in July 23rd. Again, the command to begin the process of opening the hooks has begun here to uh, separate the progress craft from the uh, pier's docking compartment. We're at a uh, three and a half millimeters separation. And uh, physical separation has been confirmed here at on time at 12.38 a.m. Central Time. About uh, three minutes after the separation, the uh, progress thrusters will fire in a separation burn for about uh, 12 seconds to create a uh, change on pro progress velocity by uh, 0.67 meters per second and begin an opening rate that will allow the uh, progress to back away slowly and safely from the space station where it will then park in orbit for a series of uh, engineering tests for about three weeks until it is uh, sent into a destructive re-entry over the Pacific Ocean on uh, November 19. This is Mission Control Houston. For those of you joining us now, we're getting a uh, live camera view, view from the uh, Progress 56 cargo craft that had been docked to the uh, space station as it has uh, performed its uh, undocking physical separation at uh, 1238, 24 a.m. Central Time. 
We're now getting a view as the uh, Progress vehicle backs away from the space station. Meanwhile, the two spacecraft, Progress 56 and the International Space Station, are flying at an altitude of about a little more than 260 statute miles. Today's, uh, or this evening's cargo ship departure sets the stage for uh, the first of two cargo ships set to uh, arrive at the space station. First, we have the uh, another Russian Progress 57 cargo ship that is uh, scheduled to uh, lift off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on uh, October 29th this week.